Queen Victoria's favourite place Osborne House on the Isle of Wight has not been used by the royals in 120 years, a news report has claimed. Osborne House first came into royal hands in the 1840s when reigning Queen Victoria wanted a seaside retreat for herself and her family. Tucked away in the countryside of East Cowes, Osborne first appeared in historical documents in 1705 when the estate was owned by the Bultfords. Osborne House was built between 1845 and 1851 for Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in East Cowes, Isle of Wight. It was built in an Italian Renaissance style by Thomas Cubitt, which gives it a unique look very different to other royal properties. The master builder was responsible for creating the famous east front and balcony of Buckingham Palace. The Mirror reported that Prince Albert is said to have contributed heavily to the home's design and enjoyed looking out across the Solent as it reminded him of the Bay of Naples. Queen Victoria herself said of Osborne, It is impossible to imagine a prettier spot. The royal family would stay at Osborne for long periods of time every year, in May for Queen Victoria's birthday in July and August for the celebration of Prince Albert's birthday and just before Christmas. After the sad death of Prince Albert in 1861 from typhoid fever, Queen Victoria continued to visit the home for longer periods and more frequently as it was one of her favorite residences. It was where she passed away on January 22, 1901. Following her death, her successor and son, King Edward VII, donated Osborne House as a national gift to the state on the date of his coronation on August 9, 1902. This was done even though Queen Victoria had left strict instruction for Osborne to remain within the family. In 1904, the ground floor was open to the public with the rest of the house converted into a convalescent home for officers. Having never visited the home herself Queen Elizabeth II gave permission for Victoria and Albert's private rooms to be unlocked for public visits. In 2012 Queen Victoria's private beach was open to the public. The palatial home is no longer an active royal residence, it is a museum that belongs to English heritage and is open to the public.